Hey, what's up everybody? Bless up. This is This Day in History, September 14th. In 1812, after Napoleon's victory over the Russians at the Battle of Borodino, Napoleon and his French army entered the city of Moscow. The city then quickly engulfed in flames set by the Russians to leave nothing of use for Napoleon and the French. In 1814, originally called the Defense of Fort McHenry, Francis Scott Key writes the Star-Spangled Banner after witnessing the British bombardment of Fort McHenry in Baltimore. The poem would become the national anthem in 1931. In 1847, during the Mexican War, the Americans defeat the Mexican army at the Battle of Chapultepec. The Americans under General Winfield Scott enter Mexico City and take control of the city, raising the American flag over the Hall of Montezuma. In 1862, the Civil War Battle of South Mountain in Maryland takes place. Union forces clash with the Confederates to take control of the mountain passes at Fox's, Turner's, and Crampton's Gap. Fierce fighting would rage out through the day and would see the Union hold their ground in a decisive victory. In 1868, during the Open Championship at the Prestwick Golf Club in Scotland, Tom Morris Jr hits the first recorded hole-in-one. It happened on a 166-yard par-3. This date, however, has been questioned, as some believe the date was September 16, 1869. In 1899, Henry Bliss, a real estate dealer, becomes the first motor vehicle fatality in the U.S. after he is hit by an electric taxi car after he steps out from a trolley. The taxi driver was later acquitted after ruling it was an accident. In 1901, after being shot twice at the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo on September 6th, President William McKinley dies from his injuries. McKinley was 58 years old. In 1901, briefly following the death of President McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, the VP, is sworn in as the nation's 26th president at the Wilcox House in Buffalo, New York. At 42, Roosevelt became the youngest president in history. In 1990, in one of the greatest moments in sports history, Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken Griffey Jr. of the Seattle Mariners in a game against the Angels in Anaheim hit back-to-back -back home runs. It was the first time in history a father and son combo accomplished the feat. And in 2009, a longtime stage performer and known for his roles in the movies Ghost and Dirty Dancing, to name a few, actor Patrick Swayze dies from pancreatic cancer in L.A. He was 57. And this has been This Day in History. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Be safe out there. And bless up.